Hey you guys, welcome back. I'm going to be doing a pick a card for your Soul Connection, Twin Flame, uh, In Separation, on the person that you know you're connected to. We're going to do a pick a card for the energy updates today. This is, and for this week, um, I wanted to do it a little differently this week so that you guys can intuitively choose which one is best for you. So we're going to start. The first one that we have is this beautiful rose quartz. Okay. Pile number two is going to be this amethyst. And I'm going to be going through uh, intuitively of which decks to use. Okay. I am also introducing my tarot deck, which I'll be clarifying with for all piles. This is also pile number three. All right, so I'll just give you a moment and just feel out which pile is yours and we're going to take a look. For those that picked pile number one, this is your reading. Let's take a look at what is going on in regards to your connection right now. What is going on for pile number one of spirit in regards to their connection? What is going on with pile number one in regards to to their connection. Thank you, Spirit. Whoa, we've got a whole bunch that came out. Let's take a look. What is going on with pile number one? With their person that they're thinking of? What is going on with pile number one, please? What is going on in the energies with pile number one? All right. Thank you. We have a spiritual awakening, you guys, on my way. Let's see what's going on in the action space. The feeling that they're coming forward. We have intuition. And we have dead inside. Okay. Let's get one other to clarify. We have spiritual awakening. Okay, a better commitment. The lessons, the hierophant leaving a karmic situation behind. They have the karmic wheel, intuition. We have following my heart and dead inside. <laughs> Destiny is calling. We have two souls in one body. Okay, so if you've been on the twin flame journey, this is definitely an energy that is coming forward with your other person. What I'm seeing here is that they are definitely in a space of having a massive spiritual awakening, learning lessons, divine lessons. Here we have the cathedral, which is the hierophant. So there's definitely a lot of spiritual awakening that's happening. A lot of things about leaving karmic situations behind because we have this card here, which is all about leaving the karmic situations behind. I'm gonna move these up so you guys get a better view. I'm just checking it out here. These two are together, so. Just want to make sure so you guys can see that perfectly perfect so yeah there's definitely um a, an awakening that's happening leaving karmic situations behind and this person that you're looking for is definitely about following their intuition all right so we're going to do um yeah yeah, we're going to uh, clarify here with the kicker. That's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm just going to shuffle. So let's take a look because this person is definitely following their heart, using their intuition. Um, they've realized where they've been dead inside is because they haven't been following their intuition. Something is really pulling them. This is definitely a twin flame or however you want to label it, two souls in one body. It's a very potent connection. So you guys, if you do want more clarity or anything else, remember I am running a special just for another week, okay? You can only book until the 31st of January. So if you want a reading of this is resonating already, just take a look down below. But let's take a look here. What is for pile number one, please, Spirit, in regards to their spiritual awakening and the cathedral? We have, so the bad health. This person has been going through some very difficult health issues, okay? Which has kind of pushed them in regards to their own awakening. Sometimes we need the contrast of, we actually, not sometimes, we always need the contrast of darkness to be able to show us what, um, of what we're not, um, doing properly in our lives or where we're out of alignment in our lives. 
So this person is definitely going through some mental health or physical health, something that is causing them to spiritually awaken. They could be breaking out. They could, whatever is physically happening to their body, they are having some type of awareness around this. They're on their way because they're realizing it's a karmic cycle that's causing their health issues. Look at this. They're on their way for a deeper commitment. We have the marriage card. Okay, so they could be leaving a marriage and coming towards you with something more committed. We're going to clarify even further, but this is something that's happening um, in regards to their, their leaving. So um, as I did that, the false person showed up. Okay, so what I'm getting here is they're using their intuition, following their heart and, and what a false person is. Okay, Spirit really wants me to put this here. So... We kind of got two. They know that they're leaving a false person that they may have been married with, okay? We're going to do intuition following my heart. This is so synchronistic. Yeah, they know that you are of high honor. You are of a higher caliber. You are a divine feminine or a divine masculine. There's definitely um, something that's igniting their heart here. And we're going to take a look at dead inside. This person does know that there is a destiny. <laughs> Look at these flying out destiny with you. Look at this. The lovers are out. So pile number one, you're really coming in a place of um, your person is coming and feeling you. Um, whatever they feel dead, they feel this love. They feel this destiny. They feel that you are definitely two bodies in one soul. If they have been mistaken in the past, they are not mistaken anymore. Let's take a look here. Let's go a little deeper and then we are going to clarify for your energy update for this week, guys. So let's take a look here. We're using the Island Time Tarot. Let's clarify now. Um, in their headspace, they're having a spiritual awakening. They're not healthy, right? They're learning their lessons around, you know, spirit, deep spiritual lessons around commitment. Yeah, and they're looking at their past, their outdated thinking. So this person has been highly reflective in their mind. They're really taking a look at what's been good for them, what's not good for them, what's affecting their health, the energies that are playing out, and how they may be, be thinking about relationships in a very um, outdated way, okay? They're leaving a karmic situation behind. They're on their way. They know whoever they're with was with a false person. They want to talk, okay? We have talking, conversing more. This person wants to communicate. So I really feel this person has done a lot of healing and they want to make their way towards you. Uh, definitely following your heart, their heart. <laughs> they want to take a chance, a risk. Okay, they're looking at options. They're not showing their hand. They may not be uh, exactly revealing everything in their life, either um, to the people around them, okay, and what they're doing because they know that you are the high honor, okay? They know their destiny is calling them. And that this is two bodies and one soul. Look, they know that this is their happiness. Wow, you guys. This is <laughs> really, really good. Let's also... Uh, take a look um i'm feeling like i'm going to be doing an extension for this i don't know this is just coming i wasn't going to do an extension but spirit is like we're going to go deeper into this so if this does sound like your story uh the vimeo link is going to be down below all right so let's take a look here i wasn't going to do that but spirit is like we're going to go deeper into their blocks and um what they're struggling with right now okay if you haven't heard from them okay so let's take a look and then again guys i'm running that special so make sure you check down below for a reading it's a one hour zoom call with me um all right perfect this is still going so let's take a look we're going to clarify this is my deck the cosmic tarot this is my tarot deck that i've created they're not for sale yet i'm creating a whole bunch of decks and then i'm creating a store so i'm gonna have several decks out before these come on the market but let's take a look let's take a look here yeah spirit wants me to pull in a very different way we're gonna take underneath the deck and take a look as well okay we have four of swords in reverse we have the eight of wands we have the page of wands in reverse and the page of cups all right we also have strength here Ooh, i'm doing this strength the wheel in reverse, the lovers in reverse, and the hanged man. All right, so this person is definitely um, 
holding a lot of strength, wanting to come out of separation here. They're really thinking a lot about uh, their health and what is good for them in their life. They're in a lot of pain. We have the Nine of Swords. They've ended a, a relationship here, okay? So this person has definitely ended a relationship and they're looking at their outdated thinking and they're learning about why this relationship had ended, okay? I, they're leaving something behind because we have the karmic wheel. They're leaving a marriage or a false person behind here. They want to talk to you. Um, yeah, things aren't working in their life at all. It's a contract that has ended, okay? So they're definitely feeling that they want to communicate, but they are afraid of rejection here. What are all, they're also doing is that they're completely rejecting anything that is not suiting them anymore, okay? Yeah, they're contemplating of how to move forward here. So let's take a look here at their actions is that they want to follow their heart. They know that they're... Um, yeah, they want this love. They're ending a relationship. They're getting off this old path. They hold a high honor for you. They uh, want to take this chance. They want to open up with the new doorway for the Ace of Cups for a new love offer here. They've been very unstable in their life. Okay, so this person, whoever you're thinking of, um, yeah, it's, it's somebody that you know or it's somebody that you've recently met. So again, these are general, right? I can't go into detail until, unless you're sitting right in front of me. Then I can channel very clearly. But um, yeah, they're really dead inside. This person wants to apologize and come forward. They've gained a lot of awareness. It's been a very difficult path. It's been a lot of uh, trials and tribulations here. Look at this, the King of Swords. Seeing clearly, uh, lining up their heart with their mind and seeing the, the frustration, the responsibility that they have to take this action. This person is... Definitely standing in a divine masculine energy, wanting to come forward, okay? Had to go within with the hermit card to seek uh, their enlightenment, but they're definitely coming around, okay? So if you've been feeling this energy and you feel like this is your story, we're going to take this to the extended. We're going to take a look at their blocks. We're going to see um, about their karma, what's going on in their karma. And we're going to go a little deeper and to see that there are full intentions and in coming towards you. So join me in the extended. It's all down below uh, with the Vimeo link and we're going to go deeper. Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. But that was your reading for pile number one. So much love. Bye. Hey, welcome group number two. This is your reading. If you pick this beautiful amethyst, um, I'm going to put it up here. We're going to start with your reading. There is going to be an extension. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's take a look, guys. This is for pile number two spirit. What is going on with pile number two with their person? Okay. Whew. I'm already feeling that there's been some quite heaviness in this for pile number two. You guys have really been struggling. But spirit is like saying there's already a shift that's happening. So let's take a look and see what that shift is. This is pile number two for their soulmate twin flame. Thank you. Connection. What is going on with pile number two? What is going on with this person towards the viewer? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with pile number two? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with pile number two? What is going on with pile number two, please, Spirit, towards the viewer? In the mind space, what are they thinking? What are they feeling towards pile number two? Pile number three, pile number four, thank you. Pile number four, card number four, placement number four. What are we talking about? Four. Spirit knows what I'm talking about. Wow, guys. These pile number one, you could probably watch pile number one as well. Okay, so this person is thinking that you are completely worth it. They want to work things out with you in their heart space. Their action is saying yes to you. They have transformed. Their outcome is they've got a little pride and ego. So let's clarify. What is this? It's worth it in their mind spirit towards the viewer. Spiritual awakening. Yeah, you can definitely watch pile one. All right, same energies are kind of coming through, even though I shuffled and cleared, but let's take a look. Can we work things out? They're feeling this in their heart towards you, pile number two. Wow, we've got quite a bit here. You can definitely watch because this cathedral hierophant came up for pile number one, too. 
they're definitely spying on you they are definitely learning their lessons they have been they are still going through the dark night of soul so this person is a little bit darker than pile number one is what i'm feeling but they know that they're learning their lessons right now okay they are definitely learning their lessons they are spying on you on social media they want to say yes to this connection they definitely feel yeah see even though they're saying yes they're having some doubt they feel worthless they don't feel and this is why it's when they're a little darker than pile one so watch pile one but um this is definitely still something that they're struggling with we have pride yeah see they're stuck in these deadly sins here the darker energies here right yeah so what i'm getting here with pile number one is that they definitely are having some massive uh breakthroughs right now um what we do in the extension we're going to take go deeper into their karmic energies and where their blocks are where their blocks are the karmic and with you and some advice um and how things are progressing so let's take a look we're going to go into the kipper deck okay we're going to look because they know that this is worth it with you, right? But they're still having some doubts here. They like, can we work it out? I'm still learning these lessons. I'm looking at you and I feel it's still more of an attached energy. Spirit is also bringing up that there's still some work here to do on both ends. So there's something of an attachment that still needs to be worked out on both ends. And I ha and it has something to do with, um, yeah like doubting this connection like is this really a real thing should i be moving on it's been a while so there's definitely some doubt that's coming through so let's take a look here what is going on with pile number two please spirit is it worth it what is going on with their person towards them well we've got two wow okay they they have recently put an end to some type of relationship okay a love or they may have ended it with you but i'm feeling like they're putting an end to something else let's take a look at can we work it out they're going through a dark night right now you're getting two cards for every time yeah they're in a deep place of despair they they are trying to um convince themselves like they're trying to make themselves feel better, not convince themselves. What I'm seeing is like they're going through a really dark time. They're going through massive despair. They're going through, they're trying to use their hobbies and things that they like to try and move out of this despair place to move into a better place. Because I feel that they see you doing, being in a better place. It could be also that they're in a marriage or a commitment, but they're putting an end to that and they're thinking about it, but they're really torn. And I feel this person going through a lot of darker stuff than pile one. So you can watch pile one, but if you watch it, just know like you're, I feel your person is a little darker and still in the process of really transmuting. Whereas pile one is like they're really at the tail end of their, their healing process and willing to come forward. <clears throat> this is a yes though. They want this but they're having a lot of doubt. So they're going to message. They want a message, but they are having doubts about this. And they're having some egos about this, about ego, about their path, this path. They're like, is this going to take me back into, I'm working through my sins. I'm working through this darkness. And I'm. they're having an ego. Like, is this really something that I can be moving forward in? And see all the butterflies. There's a lot of butterflies here. There's butterflies in this, a butterfly here. So I'm getting like it's a very deep transformation for them and they're not entirely sure yet. We're going to go a little deeper here, guys. Yeah, we're going to get into the block. So make sure if you want to come to the extended, it's on Vimeo. The link is down below because I feel like this person has some more blocks. We're going to get into the blocks between the car and if there's a karmic energy that they're dealing with and in regards to you, what the blocks are and how they're going to move forward and some advice for you. So let's take a look here. What is going on? with the uh yeah we're gonna use the island time let's take a look here <coughs> sorry um, <coughs> my throat's a little caught up with this person is really upset you know yeah the first one we have here is break up separation stop the pattern silent treatment but i hadn't asked yet but that did pop up so i'm not gonna go with it first because i wasn't ready Okay, spirit, what is going on with pile number two, please? What is going on with their person? They're having a spiritual awakening. They're putting an end to our relationship. So they know that it's worth it right now. They're having an awakening. So they're going through a breakup. So here they want to meet up with you, okay? They are ending because we had the axe, right? So they're going through an ending right now. So this person either just, they're thinking about it. I 
they want to message you but there's doubt here so we're going to get into the action piece right now it's really heavy on their mind in their heart they want to work things out with you they've been using their hobbies things that they enjoy like reading books or sewing this person is sewing or painting or something to try and ignite that creative force energy in them because they haven't been feeling it is what i'm getting from spirit you have definitely set some boundaries and it's causing them to go through a lot more pain because they can't feel you so it's igniting a lot of like wanting to stalk you look at you uh, a little bit of obsession is what i'm getting here um yeah they really <laughs> like you i like you romance is blooming they're starting to come into a realization here with you that there's something deeper here and it's causing them a lot of despair and so i see like they're just hitting the level of depth that they need to start working through that they haven't really looked at these patterns so that's why pile one is somewhat i feel like pile one is more of a futuristic like their spirit is saying what it can come out of this connection <clears throat> but this person definitely still has some deep healing that they need to do they want to message you but they're having a lot of doubt right yeah see they're trying to rise the phoenix they want to move into the next phase so they're saying yes which is amazing so them actioning and saying yes is alleviating some of this doubt they're rising out of it so all of this that they're thinking about it's like okay they are in a deep place in this dark night, but they are working through it. So this person is getting a handle on it now, okay? They know they have deadly sins and this path. Um, they're having a little bit of ego about this because their ego is still keeping them. Yes, yeah, they're still wearing somewhat of a mask. So it's starting to fall off. I'm going to get another one for that, but it's not quite there. Yeah, look, they're putting an end. The relationship is over. No second chances. So their deadly sin was that they may have told you it's completely over. And they weren't showing you the real pathway because their ego completely got in the way. And now they're paying for that. They're going through a really dark time. So, yeah, we're going to get deeper into. Oh, wow. Because this person has a lot of blocks, a lot of blocks that's happening right now. Um, they're not feeling good at all about what's happened here. But we're going to take a look. Let's go deeper. This is my new tarot deck, the Cosmic Tarot. Um, they're not for sale yet. I'm creating a whole bunch of different cards that um, I will be using probably mostly on my channel. And you can purchase them at a later date. But yeah, let's take a look here because this is, um, they're going through a hard time, Pile 2. I'm not going to lie. I feel like you're in a better place and you're feeling this pull with them. But Spirit is also saying that you're trying to do your best to try and hold your peace. Which is really good because um, it's very important that you continue to hold that peace for them and for yourself not just for them it's really for yourself when you do it for yourself it automatically happens for your person who's meant to be with you so let's take a look because they've recently just ended something okay let's take a look at the bottom oh yeah see it's not healing it's not their destiny so they're definitely putting an end to something here we have the star in reverse okay um we have the seven of cups they're looking at their different options here they're dreaming about working things out you know but it's still a dream it's still a fantasy um they're trying to figure out their hobbies they're trying to pull themselves out of this despair they want to work on it so they're really action oriented here i love seeing a pentacle showing up in the action placement they're saying yes they want to message you um they want to yeah they want to they see clearly this path and where their ego has infiltrated so this person has gained complete i don't feel this person is stuck in too much confusion i still think they're dreaming about this and it's their dream in their heart that keeps pulling them towards you but in the action they really want to work on this okay so they want to meet up for a coffee they want to talk to you they want to apologize we have the page of cups here they've had an awakening okay they really like you they're going through the dark night but look see this devil i was still feeling this so if this person does come back, just remember your boundaries. You've had to heal a lot, group number two. Spirit is really saying, remember, this person is still in a fantasy, dreamy place still and still very attached and still having trouble. And what I'm getting is um, they almost don't want to be alone. OK, there's still some attachment and addiction. And so, again, we're going to go into this karmic energy um, this darker energy in the extended because we're going to see exactly what is this block because they're still not quite ready to come forward like I feel like they're really thinking about it they want to action it they want to they're feeling it they're they're coming out of their their transition space but 
they're trying to rise here, but they're rising with doubt, okay? So there's still some things that they haven't quite cleared to make this um, a fully healed connection yet, okay? Yeah, this is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm also feeling that they they put an end to, the, to this, but they had a lot of ego with you. They may have said some really difficult, hard things to you. They may have said, it's not, I'm never giving you another chance, but it was all a mess. So they're seeing clearly how their ego completely took control of this situation, okay? So let's clarify a little deeper. Um, yeah, I wanna really, they wanna apologize. Things aren't healing. <laughs> See, they've really ended a relationship. So this person, you know when, um, you don't wanna be a rebound, right? That's basically what it is. They wanna end the separation because they have ended a relationship. So group number two, just realize you have some, there are some patterns here. And so you may be attached as well as what Spirit is saying. So you've gotta get very clear that do you want this person back just because they ended a relationship and they feel lonely or they can't handle their own darkness because i'm going to clarify this right now um this devil right and i made this card like this devil with some white because the devil definitely mimics itself as light so this person may come back seeming very awakened but they're still having some attachment here, Spirit is saying. Yeah, it's a slow moving process. So I'm not saying like not to say no, but there's definitely to be aware of the energy of what's happening here, okay? Yeah, to end this pain, you're coming to the end of the tunnel of a painful cycle. This person is coming out of it, but it is a very slow moving energy and Spirit wants you to be aware of that. We have the Magician in reverse not to be manipulated in this situation okay so you've got to hold your ground here this person is saying yes i want to work on it with you but this doubt there's still a doubt they're rising out of the doubt but you know when it's not fully done yet it's still a little piece that's happening there yeah see there's still some betrayal energy that i feel for both you're trying to get over okay so there's still some forgiveness some healing that needs to happen yeah, to return to closing off the past, not being able to walk away from this connection, but also knowing returning to the past to, uh, you know, clean up the past. Okay, cleaning up the past stuff is what I'm getting here. Yeah, and to stop fighting this. This person is only just now starting to stop fighting this connection, but is recognizing the betrayal that they have to return to you in order to really close off the past and to heal this. But Spirit is also saying, there's a piece for you too in order to do that to put an ending to all of the betrayal that's happened okay so let's take a look at this pathway yeah coming out of pain now this person is saying i'm i may have said that i didn't want a second chance and it really didn't ground the connection right but they're not moving because they don't have the courage yet right so this is the point this is where they're still fighting with these deadly sins okay yeah, they're trying to have patience and they're trying to open up, but they feel like a big failure, okay? It's their ego and their pride is getting away and shame is coming into this. So they're really trying their best, okay? But they're still getting pulled down. So Spirit is really giving you some advice in regards to just hold, you know, your boundaries and be very, um, try not to get stuck in the emotional stuff and try to keep it very logical with your boundaries and, you know, forgiving, going deeper within yourself with all the toxicity that happened to come into a forgiving place within yourself. Okay, we're going to go deeper in the extension. If this was your reading, please like, please uh, subscribe, comment down below. And um, yeah, if this is your reading, we're going to go into the karmic uh, situation of where they're actually blocked with you in the karmic situation and with you and some advice for you and how to move forward, some deeper advice. Okay. So much love you guys. Bye. Hey, group number three. Welcome. If you pick this beautiful, I can't ever remember the name of this, but it's a psychic stone that a, a client had given to me. And it's one of my favorites and it really helps ground psychic energy. So I'm going to put that there. This is your reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And there is going to be an extended for this. So take a look down below. And also just a little housekeeping. I am writing a special for readings. They don't open up all the time. So if you would like a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me reading, all that info is down below. The special ends January 31st, okay? And you can book it for any time, but the booking link is expired January 31st. All right, this is for pile number three. Whew, I'm feeling a little, 
good about your situation. I feel you both have been able to move forward. Um, you both feel very balanced to me right now. So let's see what the cards say. Let's take a look. What is going on for pile number three with the person? I feel this is just a quick check-in for pile number three, but let's take a look. What is going on for pile number three with their person? Thank you. Twin flame soulmates. Thank you. What is going on with uh, pile number three, please, with the person towards in their mind space towards the viewer? What is going on with pile number three? Wow, this card came up for every single one. These two came out together, so let's take a look here. This card came out for every single person. Spiritual awakening. This person is definitely awakening in their mind. They're seeing it, okay? They're understanding that they're actually going through a spiritual awakening. This in their heart space is that they're ready to defend this connection, but their actions is like they're actually torn between two lovers, okay? So you may be dealing with a karmic situation. Um, if it's not a person, then it's definitely um, a situation, okay, an addiction, but most, it probably is a person, because let's just be honest, people are just in all kinds of third party situations. Um, this person is saying to you, I don't know how you feel, but I know that this connection is worth it, okay? So this person has come into a deep understanding that with your connection, um, they want to defend it, they want to feel it, they want to stand up for it, but they're still torn. So they're still actioning that in their life. They still have somebody else or a karmic situation that's in their life. Let's clarify. Give me another one for this person towards pile number three. Wow, look at this. They're awakened. If they didn't know that they loved you before, I feel this person has awakened to the love now. What I'm getting for this is like, they may not have fully, they knew there was something, but they wasn't, they weren't sure if it was actually love. So what I'm feeling is like this person is actually coming to an understanding that they actually do love you. And they feel you in their heart and they want to defend. Wow, because they know you are their life partner. This is beautiful. Number 11, okay? So 74, so we have a 10 here. We have another 11 here. We have a nine here, a lot of completion stuff. We have love. We have another 11 here. Okay, so yeah, a lot of 11s and a lot of 9s and 10s, completion coming to an end. Okay, so they know you're their person. They want to defend this. So this person is really, um, I feel they're done with this karmic situation. Let's take a look. Yeah. <laughs> the third party is involved. So they're really in the place of actioning this right now. We're going to get deeper and let's see that they know this connection is worth it. <laughs> and they're saying yes. This came up for pile two as well, but... Um, I feel you guys are really on the precipice of making this happen. There's something we're going to get deeper because we need to see where they're at in this karmic situation. So yeah, in the extended, we're going to actually go and look at the blocks towards the karmic situation and towards you and some advice as well. We're going to go deeper. So let's take a look here. This person is completely, I feel when they moved away from you, they may not have known what it was and they were completely pulled into another connection, but spirits say it had to happen that way so that they could get the most out of that situation. And they're realizing, um, yeah, the grass wasn't greener. That's what I'm hearing. It just wasn't greener on the other side. And they're realizing, oh my God, all of these feelings, they, not, they may not have known what they were feeling at this time, but now they're like, oh, wait a minute. I think I'm in love with with pile number three. Like I'm actually thinking like I'm actually in love with this person. So this is an awakening that they've had. They didn't know that it was love. I think they felt more of a kinship and now they're like, whoa, wait a minute. I think that's love. <laughs> I think that's a deeper love that they haven't experienced. So you've really woken them up. So let's take a look here. What is going on with pile number three towards the viewer? Yeah, they've definitely woken up here with their spiritual awakening that they actually love the viewer. What are they thinking when it comes to pile number three to the viewer? <laughs> they all are thinking about you, okay? They're really, really thinking about you here, okay? They're feeling you. They're ready to defend this. They know that you're their life partner. They're going to stand up for you. Yeah, look, they've matured. See, this person I'm feeling has really come into a matured emotional state. They're not dramatic. They're not manipulating. If they have in the past, they have really learned their lesson, okay? That's really what I'm getting. They've torn between two lovers. What are they actioning with this torn between two lovers? I feel this is more of a past. They know this person is a privileged person, okay? So whoever they're with, they ain't liking it so much, okay? Give me one more for the privileged lady spirit. Let's get one more. Oh, look at this. 
<laughs> Look at this. This is where they're torn. Do I want someone who's privileged, who thinks they can sit on their bum all day and do nothing, or am I going to pick my mature woman? You're emotionally immature. This person knows, and they're going to defend because they want to be mature. They don't want this little princess that you have to do everything for, okay? So definitely pile three. This person is definitely, I feel, getting rid of this situation that's sucking them dry. Let's take a look. They're worth it. They want you to, they want you to move forward. Look, they feel imprisoned here. Because they don't know, they're going round and round in their head. They don't know how you feel because Spirit is saying, you've both really moved on into your own lives. Both of you have gained healing. Both of you have gained awareness. Both of you have been living um, quite good. I feel like the healing has really, um, I'm just making sure this is yeah, going. And the healing has really um, been very profound in group number three is what I'm feeling. And so this person is definitely... Um, <laughs> feeling imprisoned in their mind like ugh. i think they're going to just take a leap of faith anyways i wouldn't be surprised if the fool card shows up here um because i feel like they're just not good it they it may have kept them trapped in the past but there's yeah they're starting to come into awareness about this so let's let's go deeper let's see they love you they completely love you <laughs> they know they're thinking about you they're awakened to this they know that you're their person for life they're feeling the stability come in. Whatever they were caught in before, they weren't matured. This person has matured. They're ready to defend you. And they're completely aware of this third party stuff. Okay, so let's clarify here a little further. This is group number three. Please spare it for their person. This is really beautiful. I feel like this, when you guys do come together, a lot of stuff will be cleared because you're both in a mature process. You're not going to have too many issues. It's going to be take off, mission, done, the healing work. You guys, pile number three, you guys decided the separation may have been really hard and the work may have been really difficult because you decided to heal in separation completely. So you could enjoy each other. So you're not like always healing constantly. Not like there won't be other things to heal. It's going to be more of an integration process of what Spirit is saying. So your person is thinking about you and that they love you and they're completely awakened to this. Look stability security personal uh permanence growth endurance and flexible this is how they're feeling towards you it's flexible it's stable it's secure they're feeling it they know it they've been awakened to it they know you're their life partner they're going to defend this pile number three yeah, you guys are i think ahead of one and two um look at this twin flame came up in every single pile guys so i'm definitely dealing with a bunch of twin flames that are watching my stuff um, if you don't believe in twin flames, it's definitely a soul connection, but this is life partner. They are completely awakened to this with you. They know this. Now let's take a look at what's going on here with the third party spirit. No, oh, let's, let's get right, grab them more. They know who holds the key to their, uh, they're making proper decisions so that they can move on to calmer waters. That's what's come up. So they're looking at unconventional, unconventional, um, stringing along. They know that they're stringing the karmic along. Okay. They know that this, uh, you're the mature one and they're the privileged one. We're going to go in deeper with tarot, obviously. And then in the extension, we're going to see what's actually blocking them from moving towards you and what's blocking them towards you and towards the karmic. Okay, it's keeping them there. So yeah, they're looking at decisions here. What are my options? What do I need to do to move on from this third party? Okay, they feel a little trapped here. They're not sure how you feel, but they want to say yes to you. They've transformed here. We have a butterfly. They're not sure here. Look at this. They're watching and looking you. They're stalking you. Okay, their perception. So they're watching you. They want to see, and they see you're in a good place, but they're still not sure about this. Give me one more about their yes that they're watching, but they feel trapped. Yeah, see, they're in a chaser mode. So they don't want to chase you, but they're watching you and they're feeling that this is worth it. Um, the roles have reverse spirit is saying and they're very much feeling a little imprisoned. Let's, let's clarify guys. Let's clarify. Let's get deeper. So I can only go so much by those cards, but this is my deck. It's called the cosmic tarot. They're not for sale yet, but I've created a whole bunch of other decks. So when they're all ready, I'll be mostly just using my decks and, um, on my channel and they'll be up for sale down the road but right now i'm just going to use them and then you guys i would love to hear your comments about my cards if you really like them that would be awesome that really helps me to put out this stuff for you guys it's so wonderful all right let's take a look so yeah this person is really this person is like 
seriously i almost want to say union is intimate like it's almost it's something else that they uh, we got to get deeper with this third party stuff but there's definitely something that's still kind of keeping them in this imprisoned mode and i feel it's this going round and round about you and they're watching you very carefully so if you've been feeling that they definitely, you can watch pile number two, they definitely have that too, but I feel your connection is a little bit more ahead. You could probably watch more of pile one because I feel like they're just behind you, okay? Let's take a look here. This is pile number three, please, Spirit, their thoughts. Yeah, they're getting on, they're, where they've been, they may have blocked you, okay? So they're not communicating right now. They're having a complete tower moment, okay? Um, definitely things have fallen. They're completely awakened here. Yeah, they not, they're not taking a new beginning yet, okay? So they're just analyzing the situation. We have the fool in reverse. It hasn't gotten started yet, this new beginning. They're still going through a massive awakening here, um, but they're feeling a lot of passion towards you, okay? They know that this is worth it. They're not sure how you feel, but I don't feel they're gonna let that hold them back at all. This person is going to move forward. Let's take a look at what else is coming through. The Emperor in reverse. So they're letting go of control of the situations right now. Whatever is happening between, they, they love you. They know that they've blocked you. They haven't talked to you. They know this, but they're letting go of control here. They're look. They're waiting. They're allowing the tower to fall. So whatever is happening in their life, they're allowing it to just fall away. They're waiting to harvest this, so, and they're defending your connection. They're defending this with whoever is objecting to it. Family, friends, coworkers, all that stuff. They are completely um, standing up for you. Okay, in this connection, they know that things haven't. They're stuck right now because of this torn between two lovers. Okay. We're going to clarify that a little bit more. They're looking at their options here, right? They're they're looking at how to move forward in the easiest, best way, okay? Um, look, because they're putting an ending for this new beginning of wherever they felt trapped. Okay, let's clarify. Wow. So let's take a look here. They're letting go of control. They know they haven't been talking to you. Um, they're thinking about you all the time. They've awakened to this connection. Yeah, look at this, the chariot. When the time is right, they're letting their guard down, okay? I feel this is a timing process. When they, they're letting their guard down, they're not gonna action in a very um, passionate way. I don't feel they wanna be player from the past, okay? Or inconsistent. They're going to rush in very quickly. Um, clarify the chariot here. They're letting their guard down. Yeah, they're dreaming about this and looking at different options. So they're still trying to figure out how do I come towards you? I love you. I'm going to make... So they're trying to put a plan in place is what I'm seeing. They're trying to think about it. They're trying to look at their options. They're looking at how to communicate with you in a very truthful way. The Ace of Swords is here. A new truthful, honest beginning. So as they're doing that, they're thinking and they're planning. They're putting that together in their mind. They are allowing whatever to fall down to fall the hell down clarify that yeah there's a lot of conflict but this person is holding their peace in the midst of their conflict yeah this is karmic energy the queen of swords in reverse with the four of swords in reverse and the five of swords whatever they know they know they're defending you this person that they're with is not liking it but oh well we're gonna look at the blocks and in, in the extended to see exactly how they're blocking the karmic situation is blocking the situation, but this is person wants to, and your person wants to end separation. Things aren't healing with this karmic energy. It's a lot of conflict. So this person is waiting patiently for uh, the tower to fall before they can grab their stuff and leave. You know, it's like, okay, it's happening now. They're waiting for this investment. Yeah, because they're waiting for their wish, Nine of Cups, okay? So they're definitely coming forward. Um, let's take a look at this privileged woman and this mature woman here because they're not taking any new beginnings right now. Why is that, Spirit? Yeah, they're trying to move on to a calmer place before this is this boat. Look at this. We have the six of sorts twice here okay this they're getting what they need to move on and they're closing it okay this third party clarify this third party and what they're doing yeah this person may have had a life with them they're cleaning up the betrayal we have 210 so very close to ending okay home life fan wow three tens guys this is powerful cycles are done Fin. You got to just hang a little, it's a little longer pile number three. Happiness, love, commitment, ending betrayal. They want to move towards this. 
10 10 with you okay they're moving on they're looking at how to do this they're they're moving on to calmer water they haven't started the new beginning they let's see why are they not moved on from why have they not started this new beginning three tens in a row that is significant one 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 they're being very clear they're in the king of swords they're not being swayed by their emotions they're getting honest with themselves they're revealing the truth to the karmic situation of where their upset has been with divine feminine energy clarify these tens spirit this is amazing okay so yeah they're ending a relationship cleaning up the betrayal for this happiness so they are definitely ending it with karmic situations um i think it's just cleaning up the loose ends we have queen of pentacles that is you divine feminine okay yeah, coming forward of, of watching this. Yeah, so let's take a look here because they know it's worth it. They're ending their situation where they've been imprisoned. Um, see, they're not actioning yet because they're in the process of this transformation and they're not sure about how you feel, okay? <laughs> yeah, they had they got off this path with you. They don't know how you feel. They're saying yes, but they're cha they, they're going to chase you. I don't think this person's going to take no for an answer. They're letting their guard down with you. All right. They are going to defend this connection. They're going to apologize. They're going to be completely open. They're letting situations go. What is their transformation here? I'm really excited for you, pile number three. They want to win. They want to win at this. Your person is very competitive. This person is definitely wanting to win. So yeah, let's go to the extended guys that this is your pile. Don't, uh, yeah, come take a look at the extended. We're going to go into um, their next steps. Like what is their blocks right now with the karmic situation and what are their blocks with you and how they're going to move forward. And we're going to go deeper into that so we can see the next steps. And then we're going to also take a look at some advice for you. And if you're not moving ahead, please, if you like this, please um, like and comment below. It really helps my channel to grow. This is a beautiful energy and we'll see you guys soon. So much love.